What's going on guys? Welcome to your 24th Java tutorial and as you can see we have a score now and this is what I added and this is what we're going to do in today's tutorial. We're going to learn a little bit about fonts and how to set up our score which is actually going to be pretty simple. So let's jump into it. Um, we're going to go into our starting point class again and we're going to set up a new variable. It's going to be integer variable and we're going to call this variable score. Awesome. Then we can either set that equal to zero there or we can just go into our start method, set score equal to be zero, and we have our initial score of zero. Now we could think about all these elaborate ways to add to a score, uh, you know, all that stuff. But you know, the simplest way is we could just say, hey, every time our thread runs, let's add one to our score. So we're gonna say score plus plus within our run method awesome laziness prevails so uh, all we're doing is we're adding one to our score each time it loops through our thread so essentially about 60 times per second or I think it's a little less than 60 times but uh, you know something like that so that's how our score is gonna work and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down into our update method no not our update our paint method and after we've painted everything we're gonna paint our score on top so let's first create a string because we're gonna need a string variable we're gonna call this our s or our, for our score and we're gonna set up this string s to be an integer um, integer uh, dot to string so we're just converting a integer into a string pretty simple and what integer are we gonna convert into a string we're gonna convert the score integer so again all that's doing setting up our score uh, which is an integer into a string s and then what we're going to do is we're going to set up um, well let's just see what it looks like right now we can just say g dot uh, draw uh, draw string and we have our string and our x and y value so we're going to draw the string s that we just set up which is again going to be our score and for x let's say we want to get the width of our applet and we're going to minus about 150 uh, 150 pixels so it'll be 150 pixels from the right side of our applet and as for a y position let's say we want to have about 50 pixels down so let's say let's run this and see what that looks like so far and then we'll kind of update our font as we go but as you can see we have a little text here it looks like it's green at the moment um, that must be, must be the last time we updated our or we set the color of our graphic to be green apparently somewhere else and then uh, you know it's working it's kind of small so we probably want to change the font size and uh, you know all that stuff so that's what it looks like as of right now pretty decent um, but let's first change the color before we draw our string so so we can again just refer to g dot set color uh, we can set our color to be I'm gonna create a new color um, again we could just refer to color dot black something like that but I'm gonna first Actually, yeah, we can do that. Let's do uh, color dot black first, even even though that's kind of a review. So, all right, so we've set our color to black, and we are good to go. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this these two lines of code here and paste it below. And you're probably like, what? Why would we do that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to have a shadow behind our um, our text or our score which is going to be in black and then we're going to have a different color that's going to be in the foreground that's going to be you know a nicer color so as for our shadow what we want to do is we want to move it two pixels to the right and two pixels down so we're going to refer to our, our width or our x and we're going to say plus two and for our height we're going to also say plus two and then uh, for our you know our next string we want it at the current position of get width minus 50 or 150 and 50 for the Y and we want a different color I'm gonna create a new color here so I'm gonna say new color I'm gonna give it some RGB values so I'm gonna say uh, let's say 198 226 and uh, 255 um, kind of a nice color uh, and there we go let's run it now and as you can see we kinda of have a shadow of our score right behind our actual score you know text so that looks pretty good and now we need to obviously change the size of this font 
Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go right below this line where we converted our string and we're going to set up a font. So it's going to be a font variable. We're going to call this variable font and we're just going to set this equal to a new font. And what we can do is we can refer to our system's uh, kind of standard faults or fonts and I'm going to say uh, serif and also we're going to make this font be bold so we're going to refer to the font class say bold um, you could also do italic you know that's where you set up kind of the style of the font and then lastly we set up the size of the font so it's going to be about 32 um, size 32 of font and then all we have to do now is just refer to our graphic uh, variable called G and we're going to say set font and we are going to set the font to the font that we just created called font. So pretty simple. Um, so now we have a kind of a cool font. Uh, let's save this, run it, and there you go. We have a, a sweet score. All right, so now we have a scoring system for a game. It's pretty simple, um, but also you learned a little bit more about fonts and how to use the graphics to draw fonts of certain size. Also sh uh, set up a you know a shadow for your font. Cool stuff. So. Thanks again for watching guys and subscribing and I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.